Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to Let's Get On With It Deus Ex. I'm going to check to make sure I'm recording good. I'd like to do it at the start of every session. Before we get started, hope you folks notice a lighting difference. I set the classic lighting variable back to true. Although I did like the lighting effects in the early game that were provided by the Direct 3D 10 renderer. And I, I got that so that my recorder could actually hook onto the game. Some of the darkness effects, I didn't much enjoy. I'm not exactly sure why that was appearing, but... Um... It's a thing. <laughs> and, uh... There was a few folks. Uh, Pelora in particular, I think, YouTube user Pelora, who uh, commented on the overall darkness of the game. And YouTube does make videos darker with, through the YouTube player, through reasons, whenever they're uploaded. Well, I'm glad they made it. Let's go ahead and test it out here. Let's walk into the hilt then. I think that looks better. I think that looks better. Might actually look the exact fucking same, and I'm just deceiving myself. It's been, I think, six days since I last played. Memory's not flawless. Anyway, let's go ahead and progress with some main quest we'll storyline here. We left this alone, Osgood and Sons Imports. We just fucked around everywhere else, but it's time for us to go here now and actually get something done. I'm also going to go ahead and use two bioelectric cells because I have quite a few of them. Now, there's two paths that we can take to get to the next section. One takes us through here. The other one takes us through here. There's also a keypad here that I don't remember the code to, and I'm not sure whether we found it. But I have plenty of multi-tools. I'm just going to bypass the thing. It's not a big deal. There we go. Now in here, we have a combat supply crate and an augmentation upgrade canister, which you can use to uh, increase the efficiency of an installed module, basically taking it up a tier. Incredibly useful. I won't be using it on microfibril muscle. I'm pretty sure I only need the first level of that. For now, if ever, memory's a little rusty. Environmental resistance, uh, this is certainly useful on, but I don't want to upgrade that yet. I'm going to hold on to the augmentation upgrade canister. You don't need a med bot to use it, you can utilize it immediately. Um, however, there is an augmentation I will be getting in the near future, which I would rather use that on instead. Now, if we head down this way, there's the window that we broke into earlier. We have this section, which I do believe I briefly showed off. And you could cheese your way past these boxes right along that, uh, that pipe there and not have a problem triggering the lasers, but for convenience's sake, and also because I have so many multi-tools, it doesn't matter. Ta-da! There's some ammunition here. You can also explode. These things, you might even be able to hit all the lasers, but, eh, whatever. We got 50 skill points as an exploration bonus. Got some valuable rockets. Is there anything back here? Does not appear to be the case. Alright. Now, here is a code that we've received from two sources. 3316 gives us access to the elevator. Which will take us... Up here. Heads up, JC. I'm sending you a satellite image. We've got NSF troops on the rooftops. Do we? I haven't received the image yet. There we go. So, we're right here. The Osgood and Sons Imports building is over here, and it looks like we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight guys spotted on the roofs. According to Intel. Of course, you know, people can walk around and change, right? Ah, that's splendid. And this is one of the ways up here, to this area. Jade Dragon's House of Pain, the Ultimate Gentleman's Club. I've seen that poster a few times. However, I don't have any interest in going this way. Just wanted to show you. What we're going to do instead is travel all the way back through here, leaving those explosive barrels for... Poor starving children, I give all of my standard and move actions to in tabletop games whenever I don't use them. 
And we're going to go this way instead. Now, due to all the redundancy designed in this game, all the various design paths, what you end up having is, uh, skill points for exploration and, you know, critical location, all sorts of other things designed all over the place to ensure that no matter what path you choose, you'll run into something. There's a lot of little bonuses like that scattered around the game. Watch for lambs. I'm picking up sonic transducer activity. Particularly in this location. I'm not going to be getting all the little bonuses. I'm not sure right now whether I want to explore the entirety of this area for you. Eh, I don't know. Anyway, this ramp leads up here. And we'll fall down here. Kill some rats in the process. I actually broke the trash can. <laughs> nice. Now, I'll throw down a quick save. And save myself from being blown up. Now, you could stack together a bunch of things, and you could get up the fence this way, just like you could stack together a bunch of things, if, especially if you hold them over from that fence and get up over here this way. However, if you want to go over that way at the start, the easiest way would be to jump from there and go down that way. One path of several. You can also build staircases out of lambs. I don't feel like showing that off right now, either. What we're going to do is just climb up this ladder. We'll be over in that area later. It's fine. There's also a lamb over there. We're probably not going to be picking that one up. It's a shame. I do like lambs. They lead lots of people to slaughter. Okay, so if we look down there, there's the elevator where we came out. And this was an area that we could have walked up to, but it wouldn't have led us right to this roof. There's instead another access point, which we could have used to get to this particular roof, among all the roofs. We go ahead and throw down another quick save, and we're gonna put the sniper rifle back on the quick bar. We're gonna begin some use out of that, folks. I was also seen, and my arm was immediately vaporized. You see that? Bam! That happened fast. Unfortunately, because that guy saw me, I'm not going to be able to get a clear shot off on people. As easily as I would have been able to otherwise, I will attempt my best. And if need be, I'll quick load. Whatever. It's unfortunate that I lost my arm. I'm pretty sure that guy has a sniper rifle. There you are. He just happened to be looking in the right place. Yeah, he's got a rifle. Well, you can get fucked, sir. My arm might be damaged, but, uh, I'm not dead. Like you. He could have one-hit killed me had he, uh, managed to hit the head. Well, that was fun. Got some excitement in. Now in here is a door that we could lockpick, which would take us down to that elevator. But I don't have any interest in that. However... Can I break my pockets? Good. And here's a med kit to make up for the one that we used on a prod charger battery, or a prod charger rather, which I don't really have interest in. Crouch down. Let's go back up here to our sniper location. We've killed two individuals, but there's still more out there. So we can't get carried away. I mean, I guess we could. Oops. Missed my fall. Now we have 30 odd 6 ammo right here. And some more 30 odd 6 ammo. Very nice. And we've got some dudes. I'm gonna go ahead and wait for my crosshairs to close before I try sniping them. I might be able to get you without zooming in. But I'm not too sure of my uh, my aim these days with my own arm, not JC's arm. It's one guy. Oh, that definitely excited you. There went my health again. <sighs> I'm doing too well this time. 
Should have taken out this guy first. That's my fault. I'll try to rectify that. That was another guy that we just saw over there on that roof. I'm being reckless and dumb. Well, gotta use these med kits for something. Speaking of stuff, let's go ahead and upgrade heavy weapons. <laughs> Because I've decided that I've done too many playthroughs of this game, which uh, have me upgrading rifles or pistols. I've decided to have some fun with my life, and some more fun with this playthrough. Why the hell not, right? Stable. Stable. Alright, this guy will come. And again, that's JC wiggling on his own. Nothing I'm doing to control that. Just a consequence of not having uh, any rifle skill. I thought this guy would be coming back through. Guess he's decided that he wants to live. He knows. Watch as soon as I move. Damn it, JC, stop fighting me! <laughs> Fuck, did I hit his head? Alright, I got it. That'll have to do. Now, there's some more individuals poking around here, but, uh, we don't have eyeballs on them. Here's some ballistic armor that'll reduce the damage taken by, uh, shots for a limited amount of time. See, these area location bonuses are so mercurial in where they'll be. I don't like it, though, because the ballistic armor fades away, even if you're not getting shot. It takes up an inventory space to just carry it around to a place where you might get shot. Like, I could have made use of it here, and I actually had an inventory space to pick it up. I got this thermoptic ammo. I'm gonna... Uh, ammo? Yes, thermoptic ammo. Good call. Thermoptic camo. I'm sure I'll make use out of that at some point. I get rid of it. It's either that or I will get rid of it. One of the two. Also, there's a train passing by my house. Good news for everyone. I'll make a save in case I miss a fall. Feel like going this way? Yeah, sure. I'll go this way. If JC will... There we go. Fixed. What's in here? There's a few medkits spread around this area, and because I decided to take as much damage as I did, because, you know, I, it was a conscious effort, a choice on my part, I decided I wanted to get hurt. What the hell, right? Might as well look around for some medkits. Is there anything up here? I forget things sometimes. No, this is just a little looky place. A looky place. There's a ladder down there that'll take you to a another place. We'll be down there later. I mean, I guess I could go down there now. Eh, sure. Nah, we'll be down there later. It's fine. It's not a big deal. Oop. You only left these crates behind. 30 out 6 ammo. And assault rifle ammo, but we already have enough of that. Combat knife. Woo! Of course, this is this bottom layer here. Oh, I actually managed to jump up here, and I could ease my way around to try to grab the ladder from the other side. Not dangerous at all. Yeah, I might as well take care of this wall up here. So there's a lamb up there, and I said I won't be getting that lamb. You'll see that that's the area where we came out. And that's where we climbed up initially. Now, we won't be getting that lamb, because I kind of want to blow this off. We accomplished stuff, everyone. Ah, totally. Yep, we sure did. <laughs> Achievement get. Blow shit off. Kudos to us. 
Good achievement, everyone. Go ahead and blow that off with a pistol. I don't trust my hops. There we go. That's an accomplishment bonus for us. We accomplish things, everyone, together. Get a med kit for our troubles, along with area location bonus. Woo! Now back here, go ahead and put that away. There's a bioelectric cell, and another med kit. So what that bring the number up to now? Seven. And another bioelectric cell. Splendid. Put the light away. And another prod charger. Not like we will ever use that weapon again. I'm pretty sure we won't. Well, maybe. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Attack dog? He's, he's fine and friendly, folks. Don't have to worry about him at all. <laughs> he totally won't hurt us, no. Ow. Games which involve me uh, hurting animals. Always makes me feel a little guilty, and I blame my mom for this. She's such an animal lover. But then I think about all the times and say a game like Splinter Cell Blacklist, when an animal has given me so much trouble, and I stop feeling so bad. We got three dogs down there, one, two, and then there's a third guard over there. Standing next to a lamb, I think that is. Well. No time like the present to piss them all off. I might be able to cap this guy without even using the scope. Let's go ahead and save. Good. This guy, for whatever reason, was not disturbed. But he is now. Good. The dog is just going to mill around like fools. I could put him to sleep, I guess. Nah, I don't think I'm gonna put up this lathe. Well, not what we would call any friendly form of pet euthanasia. Look, it formed a deformed star. Or like a little person. <laughs> such a bad such a bad person. Oh man. I don't think I need- there's two dogs over in that area. I don't think I need to go over there. So, I think I'll spare them. I will attempt to spare them. How about we put it that way? If I can spare them. You know, won't even try to put them to sleep with Trank darts. We'll just- just let them go. But you know they are vicious attack dogs, right? Go ahead and get this 10 millimeter ammo. Is this reloaded? Yeah. It was. And are you reloaded too? Yeah. Six rounds is what it carries. I forget uh, things like clip size. Oh, good. Will you actually jump over? You did! That's amazing. I think the terrorist is up there. Probably inside the building. There's one of the dogs. The other one's around that area somewhere. Like I said, I don't think we'll... There he is. We never go down that area for any reason. At least we shouldn't. So... I think I just leave him there without a problem. We're gonna hop down here. Loot the buckshot. Don't care about the sawed-off shotgun. Here's a turret. What is it? Look for the building with the antennas. Thank you. Grab that. There's a camera there and a turret. And I'll show you why. First, let's not die. Good. I'm gonna quick save like a fiend in this area. I don't feel like having my recording derailed. Because I suck. There's also a, also a data cube. Warehouse basement ramp code 2577. And here's another access point that'll get you uh, into Osgood and Sons. 
There's a ladder that we could have taken that led us down to this area, and here's where we blew up with the gap. We actually hit a lamb, which, uh, made the explosion a little bit more awesome. However, JC doesn't want to cooperate with me, because, you know, that would be... That would be useful. JC, for fuck's sakes. Now, if we had hopped over this area, and we could actually go back if we designed a staircase... Uh, let me turn off my light. We could get through these lasers. There's a turret. We could actually bypass that if we stack ourselves a little staircase to that. Or we could simply run through the lasers, uh, wait until the turret deactivates because the alarm goes off, then go through that EMP field and through that hole in the fence that takes you to uh, where that turret and camera were, where I just got that area location bonus. Well, I'm glad you can make it through the return trip easily. I guess we'll go down there in a bit, too. So, what else do I want to go after? There's a dog. I guess. Come here, pooch. I mean... Uh, fine. Fucking guilted myself. I don't have to explode you all. Do I hit you? Let's hit you again just to make sure. Nothing. I guess we're safe. Totally safe. Did he actually run all the way out there? I don't know where the hell he is. Which is interesting for me, not knowing where a guy is. Hmm. Anything back here? I forget things from time to time, you know? I think I've already mentioned that. Here's something we can't open. Although, wait, what's this? Do we have a code for this? 2577? Over here is a fence. Well, we can open. And over here is where you could get access to those two dogs if you really wanted to. Alternatively, you can go up this way. Which I will. There is a thing here. Hmm, that's interesting. You can pick it. Or break it. Which I will. What's this? It's a critical location. There's people. In there, you can actually deactivate the generator. It's like a stealth round for you. So that you don't have to explode thing. Well, you don't have to directly shoot barrels to kill people. It's spiffing. And up here is a roof. Well, in particular, this is the roof of the building containing the generator. And there are many fine friends down there. Also, random accomplishment bonus. Like I said, there's hits sc scattered all over this map. I doubt I'm going to be running into all of them. But they exist. And that's worth something, right? Uh, well, I guess I'll shoot some bitches. Don't let them see me. These guys have dealt enough damage to be in this video. Nope. Yep, I'm a fascist. Watch out for me. Oh no. Oops. Now don't you be shooting me. Bad. Let's go ahead and pull out the assault rifle. And 
Apparently I don't have a thing there that I used to have. I don't remember what it is I had there. Whatever. I'm here. Come on. Mm-hmm. You got excited running? No. There's a guy over... Hello! Hello! That's it. Ah, shit. Bad, 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 bad. Reload, goddammit! We had to burn through all that ammunition somehow, right? I was getting a little bored there. <laughs> we, 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 we've, we've taken some damage. We won't heal all that up, though. You can see our spent casings, and obviously some individuals escape from me. That's okay. I already looted this body. Ah, wasn't that fun? Fun for the whole family. Probably cleared out this warehouse j just because of all the alarm action. Isn't that a fun firefight? Hello. You just hidden from me, man. The power could have been yours. It'd be interesting to see whether there is actually anyone left on this above ground area. I did burn through quite a bit of ammunition, but that's okay. Now, you could just shoot this barrel with a more precise weapon than this. <laughs> or if, you know, you've upgraded rifles, you could just shoot that barrel, this thing will go up, mission accomplished. That's not good enough, though. There's some more fun and excitement for us out there. Just waiting to happen. I mean, we might actually see me die. That's a big deal, right? Don't you want to see Grandma die? Now, here's this computer that we uh, had access to. Now, we don't technically know the login for that. And I could hack it, but I don't feel like it. Do, 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 do. Is someone there? Woo! Hey! Friend! Look at you! You wanna kill me? You wanna kill me? All your friends are dead. You sure you wanna take me on? Huh? Huh? I guess it's nothing. Totally nothing! Who's there? Oh, a little bit too late. Oh, hey! I'm hit. I don't think charging me was the right thing to do, unless your last name is Pickett. Then again, it wasn't a good idea for him either. Too soon, everyone. <laughs> I think we're okay. Now this is a locked door, and because I have 16 lockpicks, I'll just go ahead and demonstrate this for you. If you just want to blow the thing and get out, but don't care about trying to hack a computer, this way we'll take you in there. And then, ta-da! You blow it up, you're good to go. I forget whether there's anything in here. Well, on this floor. Besides that. It's a buckshot, which I already have enough of, and since I don't use the shotgun... It's not a big... Whoops. Well, I bought a candy bar. Never buy a candy bar by accident? I have. Let's go ahead and eat it. Well, my character deserved a reward. There you go. Bathroom mechanics. Don't think there's anything of value in here, and if there is, it's not important enough for me to remember. 
Ah, the excitement in action, folks. Don't have anything up there either. You notice there's some rampways leading down to a basement of this location, which you can gain access to through the sewers. You know, pretty much cleared this with Firefight. And I guess I'll go show this off too, but I'll break the video. We've gone on for a bit. And I hope you all have enjoyed your fun and action and excitement. Next time, I'll eventually destroy the generator, but we gotta have some fun in our lives, right? I'll see you then.